Tens of millions of Americans across the U.S. have high cholesterol, but not all of them are getting the proper treatment. So what is cholesterol and how can it negatively impact your health? Joining us with some answers is Dr. Stephanie Saucier, cardiologist with the Hospital of Central Connecticut in New Britain and Hartford Hospital. Doctor, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me this afternoon. So what is cholesterol exactly and why is it both good and bad? So cholesterol is basically a fat-like substance that's in our bodies. We're born with it and our body needs cholesterol in order to make vitamin D, different hormones, and to help our body digest food. Our body produces the amount of cholesterol that we need, but if we have too much, it can end up in the bloodstream, creating plaques in the arteries. That in turn leads to narrowing or blockage in the arteries and can lead to heart attacks and strokes. All right, what causes our cholesterol levels to go from a healthy level to too high? So your overall health plays a big role. If you're overweight, smoke, have diabetes, or if you're not exercising, you're at risk for having high cholesterol. If your diet has a lot of saturated fats or trans fats, that can also put you at risk. High cholesterol can also be hereditary and can have a genetic component to it. And so that's also something that can put you at risk for having high cholesterol or your gene. All right, how does someone know if they have high blood pressure? So someone would know if they had high blood pressure, usually their primary care physician would check their blood pressure or any of your doctors at any visit. Also important is that your primary care physician is ordering a fasting lipid panel, which checks your cholesterol levels in your blood. All adults over the age of 20 should have their cholesterol levels checked. And additionally, if you have a family history of premature heart disease or a genetic component of high cholesterol in your family, you may need your cholesterol levels checked earlier than age 20. All right, if people want to learn more, tell us about your free virtual class tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow night, August 19th, from 7 to 8 p.m., you can join me from the comfort of your home where we talk a little bit more about cholesterol, what some of the common treatments are, and I'll be there answering any questions you may have. All you have to do is register online at HHC Classes and Events page, and you'll get the link to join. All right, Dr. Saucier, thank you so much. Great information.